this uh, knife is one of our new fixed blade knives. It's called the Reverse, and it's a knife that I co-designed with Craig Douglas, who's a former law enforcement officer, uh, former undercover narcotics officer. And actually, the, this version of it is closest to, to his preference. Uh, Craig is uh, the designer of the Spider Coat Pakal knife, which is a folding knife. This is basically a fixed blade expression of that same design, and it's designed the way that he prefers to grip a knife, which is with the edge facing inward. So when you grip the knife, you can see the ergonomics of the handle to be able to grip it here. Uh, basically allow the knife to face with the edge facing back toward you. So the idea is to thrust and then using the back muscles to pull and cut with lots of power. My preference instead is to cut away so the edge faces outward in the tactics that I teach. So what you see is the handle is configured in this way so that it's, the grooves are on the same side as the edge so when it's gripped, it's facing away. So Craig and I are, are good friends. We've uh, talked together on a number of occasions, and some of our students will look at it and say, well, he prefers to have edge in, you prefer to have edge out. Um, is there a conflict between the two of you as far as your approach? So we decided that we were going to design one knife that would allow us to configure the blade either way. So as you can see here, by laying the handles on one over the other, the grooves are on this side, so ergonomically you have grip the knife with the fingers on this side, but by reversing the blade, you can have it face in either direction. So no matter what your preference may be, you can configure it. So what you have are three sets of screws in the handle here. You simply remove the screws, take the handle scales off, turn the blade, and then reassemble the handle and put the screws back in. Now what's nice is, as a folded bolt around sheath, doesn't matter which edge configuration you have, no matter how the knife is, is configured, it still fits into the sheath. And the sheath is designed with Spyderco's G-clip attachment. The G-clip is a spring clip that's molded out of solid plastic, and it can be attached to either side of the sheath. It can also be attached to either edge of the sheath, either this side or this side. And what that allows you to do is to set the knife up for inside the waistband carry, belt carry, uh, it's angular adjustable, so you can have a forward or rearward cant. So no matter how you'd like to carry the knife, you can configure it according to your preferences. So it's kind of a, a unique uh, meeting in the middle, if you will, between Craig's approach to knife tactics, my approach to knife tactics, and in the process you get a knife that is very versatile and uh, very suitable for personal defense. This is the Shemp Bowie. Ed Shemp is a custom knife maker uh, who has a long relationship with Spyderco, and he's actually uh, the person that we've chosen to uh, drive our ethnic series. Our ethnic series is basically a series of knives within the Spyderco line that focuses on honoring different ethnic knives that have uh, been associated with, with different cultures around the world. So in this case, what you have is a classic American Bowie design. So the blade itself is CPM S30V stainless steel, so it's a particle metallurgy stainless steel, and it's a classic clip point Bowie design. It has a high flat grind for really good edge geometry, but you notice the spine is full thickness for strength. This is mated to a handle, and the handle is really a nice blend of traditional elements and state-of-the-art execution. So first of all, it has full stainless steel liners, so you have stainless steel liners and a stainless steel back spacer. What that does is it puts a lot of weight toward the back of the handle here, so it balances very nicely, it balances right at the index finger. So it's got a very lively feel in the handle. It's a liner lock mechanism, but you'll notice the liner lock is cut so that it's very close to the bolsters, and that way it's a conscious effort to release the knife, but it's not difficult. But there's no way that it would release accidentally under in use. The bolsters themselves are brass, so it's a very traditional material, and the brass bolsters are mated with a carbon fiber G10 laminate, so what you have is a layer of carbon fiber on top of G10, so you have a very high-tech approach right next to something that's very traditional, so it's kind of a blend of both. You'll also notice that the way that those two are mated together is with a dovetail joint on each side, so it's a very precise joint. It's also a, a symbol of the, the high-quality workmanship in this particular knife. It has a traditional S guard. When you grip the knife in a saber grip, what you'll notice is that it's a very natural orientation with a straight wrist angle. What you see is the point of the blade faces straight forward. So from a combative standpoint, from a self-defense standpoint, this allows you to orient the point straight toward the target. It can also be gripped with the thumb forward this way. And what you'll notice is one of the most distinctive features here is the angle between the blade and the handle. The handle is slightly dropped, and what that allows you to do is to maintain a straight, strong wrist angle when you're gripping the knife. And that drop also, when you're cutting, you apply lots of pressure with the blade because the blade is actually angled down somewhat. So it gives you a lot of the cutting mechanics you would find, like with the uh, traditional Kukri design from your home.
The clip on this knife is a deep pocket carry clip. It's a wire clip. And the wire clip is nice because it gives you lateral flexibility as well as the spring tension. And it's reversible from left or right side. So it's easy to carry this left or right handed. Because of the way that the spider go hole is exposed, it's also very easy to open with either hand. And because of that angle between the blade and the handle, it allows you to have a very short opening arc. It doesn't have to open the full 180 degrees. So that means it's very easy to get the knife open under stress. One of the interesting things about this knife also from a combative standpoint is that it's very easy to brace the handle against the palm of the hand. So if I extend my index finger along the blade this way, now what I have is the ability to use the index finger as a guide. So if I simply poke with my finger, it allows me to thrust with great accuracy with the blade. And because this is a brace against my palm, I can manage the shock of that impact very well. So there's a lot of unique ergonomic features that are built into this knife. It's not only a, a very classic knife, a very stylish one that kind of blends modern technology and tradition, but it also has a lot of very functional features as well. So again, this is the Shampoo. This is a new product here from Spider Co. And it's one that we're very excited about.